Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Winter hold. Hmm. No snowberries, I'm surprised. Anyhow, I'm here to speak with Inther. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Ah, here he is. Distra Who are these robed people over well, here? Well, isn't this a surprise? How much of our money have you spent today, Ranmir? Anything Worshipper. left, or is it all gone? You. If I wanted to get We've been waiting at, for you. Home. Can't you leave are me Are you be? the one? Are you oh, I'm Dragonborn? Sorry. Am I bothering you? What? Am I making your life more difficult? They were waiting for me. <coughs> All right, I'll deal with them later. Enter. Yes, yes. What is it? I've been sent by Carlia. Carlia. Then she's finally no, found it. Do you have Gallus's journal? Let's just keep it yes, on. but there's a problem. A problem? Let me I see it. No, oh, this is just like Gallus. A dear friend, but always too clever for his own good. He's written what all of the text the in the Falmer language. You today, Can you translate it? it no. However, oh, I know someone who might. Home. You leave the me court be? wizard of Markarth, Calselmo, oh, so may have the materials you need to get this journal me? translated. That bitter man. Word of warning. Calselmo is a fierce guardian of his research. Getting the information won't be easy. Yes, that's probably an understatement. Do you know why Gallus scribed his journal in Falmer? Besides the fact that there are only a handful of people in Tamriel that even recognize the language, I'm fairly certain he was planning some sort of a heist that involved a deep understanding of the Falmer language. Hmm, Sadly, we never had the opportunity to speak about the details. Yes, that is sad. Where did he acquire the knowledge to use it? Ironically, I pointed him in the same direction I pointed you. To Markarth, to Calselmo. Today, I'm only hoping Anything whatever left, means he used to gone. learn the language will still if be available to, to you. Can't you leave me be? Oh, I'm so and what can you I tell me about you? Gallus? He was a dear difficult. friend of mine, and a surprisingly astute pupil of Academia. I was devastated when he was killed. I suppose that risk always coexisted with his line of work. I just never thought his luck would run out. No, even Ranmere can only think. He was an academic, yet he chose a different path. Why? I suppose that's a benefit to For the thrill, of course. He was quite clear that he felt more in his element climbing through a window rather than hunched over a dusty tome. I know the feeling. How did you meet him? Ah, uh, yes, quite an amusing anecdote, actually. I caught him trying to break into my laboratory. Just, I was about to show him the home. error of his ways Damn. when he made a curiously astute comment about my research notes. I was astounded Why? and in turn it led to a conversation. Who would have imagined it would lead to such death. a strong friendship? Ah, yes, who? All right, I'm not going to bother to ask you what a Falmer is. Good day. Calselmo is stubborn as a mule. Be careful when you speak to him. Very well. And who is this, uh, yes, Nelakar? Interesting. Looks like I have an adventure ahead of me. We'll deal with that later. All right, then. It looks like I'm headed to Markarth. Look, I'm very busy, so this better be important. Yes, it is, Calselmo. What are you doing here? The excavation site is closed. I don't need any more workers or guards. I was looking for you, actually. I told you I'm not hiring any more guards. Why do you people always bother me when I'm trying to finish my research? You idiot! Do you even know who I am? 
the most recognized scholar on the Dwemer in all of Tamriel. And you people keep bothering me. I... I'm sorry, I... I got too excited. That's one I'm way of looking at it. I'm in the middle of very stressful work, and I, and I shouldn't have yelled. How can I help you? <clears throat> well, at least you apologized. I hear you're an authority on ancient Falmer. Then you were well informed. I am at this very moment on the cusp of completing my magnum opus on the subject. I'm calling it Calselmo's Guide to the Falmer Tongue. It will revolutionize the way we understand those ancient beings. Perhaps I could view your work. Preposterous. <laughs> that research represents years of personal toil in some of the most dangerous Dwemer ruins in Skyrim. You must be mad to think I'd allow anyone to see it before it's completed. <laughs> but I'm a great admirer of your work. While I appreciate the sentiment, I still have to decline. Well, at least you're being an admirer. I'm kind sure you can appreciate the need to keep my research a secret. Hmm. Well, I can try to intimidate you. I need access, or you will regret it. Do you realize that oh, at a snap Lord. of my fingers, I can Should bring the known. entire Markarth city guard to my defense? You best rethink this course of action, or you may find yourself on the executioner's block. What about a bribe? I'm not certain how many scholars you're accustomed <laughs> no. to dealing with, but I can assure you that personal wealth is our lowest priority. <laughs> right. Forget it then. Maybe I'll come back later. Very well. Perhaps when my research is complete, I'll feel more comfortable discussing my findings with you. <laughs> okay. Uh, the moon. I almost forgot about it. Wait, is this... This is his key. There we are. He didn't notice a thing. All right, let's get moving. able to get past that guard out there without him stopping me. What a waste. There must be a dozen men up there. Yeah. Calselmo called in his entire expedition team. Said he needed every man he could get to protect his research. By order of the yard, stop right there. Really? All right. You caught me. I'll pay off my bounty. Smart man. Now, what? come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods, and you'll be free to go. After you pay the fine, of course. You're kidding me. All right. Well, that was a small setback. Let's try this again. All right, I didn't realize I had a bounty. Let's see if I can slip past this man again. Yes. Okay, now can I get through here? You have committed crime. Are you kidding me? My deity has abandoned me. No. They attacked me. Oh well. So much for that. The 
it doesn't matter. I'm powerful enough as it is, with the blessings of her seen and Malakath. So what if Akatosh has abandoned me? spider but I can't use the control rod because it's considered a weapon and the curse placed on me by those witches prohibits me from using a weapon Someone down here. Is someone there? Yes, there is. Intruder! You all should think twice about assaulting a man that has the strength of a werewolf. Or should I say, an orc? taking. Laboratory key. I'm not sure. I think the other key I had was for the museum. But I should be good now. Is that everyone? There's certainly a lot more of these fists to go around. Hmm, this would be something if these came to life. Oh, look. Now, 
Now, where's that conjurer? I can see you. With that spell. We are out to stop! <laughs> All right. this a puzzle cube it's another gift for Delvin that this might have been Caselmo's relative. It's unfortunate that he got in my way. Chimmer. Chimmar the Medium. Okay. So that's about heavy armor. See a lot of missed opportunities here for these statues to come to life. All right, so whatever I need is here. Okay, it looks like I need some charcoal and some paper to do a rubbing. Let's try this now. All right, men. Spread out. Search the tower. Oh, look at this. This is going to be fun.
I think that was all of them. Just a light snack. Alright, I'm gonna need to change back. side. I need clothes. Let's see what are these guards wearing? Captain Aquilus. All right, that's heavy armor. Is anybody This is a wizard. Wizard's guard. Are they all wearing heavy armor? Apparently so. All right, I'll have to get armor elsewhere. It's too hard for me to move in heavy armor. everything. <laughs> I can't jump off there. Alright, so it looks like this might be a way out. Hopefully I can get out of here without the guard stopping me. hold. Well, isn't this an interesting surprise? All right, I'm back from visiting with back, Calselmo. Hey, how was our friend Calselmo? Bitter as usual. Was there something else? This should help translate Gallus' journal. I suppose it would be inappropriate of me to ask how you obtained this, so I simply won't. A rubbing, eh? Odd. I expected notes. It's quite the tale. And rubbings are all the rage in Skyrim now. I understand. Now, let me take a good look at this. Over here, please. Carlia. Hmm... This is intriguing, but highly disturbing. It appears that Gallus had suspicions about Mercer Frey's allegiance to the Guild for months. Gallus had begun to uncover what he calls an unduly lavish lifestyle replete with spending vast amounts of gold on personal pleasures. Does the journal say where this wealth came from? Yes, Gallus seems certain that Mercer had been removing funds from the Guild's treasury without anyone's knowledge. Anything else, Enther? Anything about... the Nightingales? Mm, uh, yes, here it is. The last few pages seem to describe the failure of the Nightingales, although it doesn't go into great detail. Gallus also repeatedly mentions his strong belief that Mercer desecrated something known as the Twilight Sepulchre. 
Shadows preserve us. So it's true. I, I'm not familiar with the Twilight Sepulchre. What is it? What's, what's Mercer Frey done? I'm sorry, Antha. I can't say. All that matters is we deliver your translation to the Guild immediately. Farewell, Antha. Words can't express. It's all right, Carlia. You don't have to say a word. Listen, all I Are we going to dance in circles? Listen, all I want is the truth to be revealed to the Guild. They respected Carlia, and she deserves better. Do whatever you can, and I'd consider it a personal favor. All right, I will. And thank you for your help. If trying to rid yourself of stolen goods becomes a burden and you find yourself in Witterhold, visit me at the college. I've been known to handle items of questionable interest from time to time, and I'll see what I can do. Okay. I appreciate it. If you have further need of me, you can find me in the college. We must hasten to Riften before Mercer can do any more damage to the guild. Gallus Journal mentioned the Twilight Sepulchre. You've come this far, so I see no harm in concealing it any longer. The Twilight Sepulchre is the temple to Nocturnal. It's what the Nightingales are sworn to protect with their lives. Why does it require that type of protection? Everything that represents Nocturnal's influence is contained within the walls of the Sepulchre. Now it seems Mercer's broken his oath with Nocturnal, and defiled the very thing he swore to protect. Thieves and temples, it just doesn't add up. I felt the same way when Gallus first revealed these things to me. I think given time you'll understand what I mean. I'd understand better if less mystery was involved. As a Nightingale. I've been sworn to secrecy regarding the Sepulchre. Of course. I know the Guild doesn't do much to foster faith, but I'm going to have to ask that you continue to trust mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. Very well, we'll do it your way. For now. I'll make for Riften and scout the situation. See if I can discover what Mercer's up to. When you're ready, meet me at the Ragged Flagon. In the meantime, I wanted you to have this. It belonged to Gallus, but... Given the circumstances, I think he'd approve. Um... I don't know what you're handing me, but... Whatever it is, I'll put it to good use. If the Guild isn't willing to listen to reason, you might have to. <laughs> ah, a Nightingale Blade. Very well. It's appreciated. All right, I will see you all later. It's time for me to get some clothes and then head back to Riften.